Well, both coffee shops have a app that you can use and loyalty stamps. We all need a coffee to get us going in the morning. And in the UK, there are two big coffee chains, Cafe Nero and Costa. So now let's put them to the test. Well, both coffee shops have apps that you can use and you can collect loyalty stamps like this. I've got two at the minute. And at Cafe Nero, once you collect nine, you can get a free drink. So it gives you a fully stamped card. And also at Cafe Nero, at least, I use the payment option on the app as well. So I don't need to take out a separate credit card. I don't do it at Costa. I don't know why, but let's go in and mm. we will get our coffees.
Well, that was rather nice. The total price was £6.90 for our two drinks. So I got a small cappuccino with a sprinkling of chocolate. And Paul, what did you get? I got a flat white, which is basically an espresso with some steamed milk without the froth. So there were, so I don't normally buy it and I did like it because it is nice and creamy and it's an espresso with um, the milk and it was a bit stronger than a latte, I would say. Now the flat white only comes in one size. Yes. And I'm not really sure why that is. Maybe if it was bigger, they wouldn't be able to make it flat. I've also had it to take out, which is a bit silly because it doesn't really work in a paper cup. No? It's the sort of what, it just doesn't because it's supposed to have that sort of like a thin layer mm. of foam over the top. Mm -hmm. Well, I found that the cappuccino was really strong. Now that's mm. good for me. Now, I sometimes get an Americano from Cafe Nero as well. And some coffee shops, you can get an Americano and it feels, uh, tastes a little bit weak. But mm. I always find with the Cafe Nero, it's quite a strong coffee. It hits the spot for sure. Now, there was quite good speed of service in there. Um, there were a couple of people in front of us, but that didn't really matter. And I paid by app and I got two stamps. So you get one stamp per drink. That's good. Yeah, so once I reach nine stamps i'll be able to get a free one and it looks as though someone needs to get their baby chino because they do baby drinks as well in there i think don't they mm -hmm. most of them do and that's basically just a frothy milk with no coffee Next stop is Costa. And we're going up the stairs in the shopping centre for this one. Now, in Uxbridge, where we're filming this, there are actually four Costas. But would you believe that there's music playing virtually everywhere? So YouTube doesn't like that. So outside, there was like, someone singing, then there was music blasting somewhere. So we've come to this one, which is inside next. And actually, this is our favourite Costa in Uxbridge because some of them are a bit sort of weird when it comes to using offers but this one we never have a problem with. So we're not using any offers today, we are paying for our coffees and we are going to use the app again. But this time I'm going to pay on my credit card rather than using the actual app to pay. So let's go check it out. Well I've got the Costa app all ready to go and with Costa, they also offer you sometimes food offers. So at the minute I've got an offer to get 30% off food. But I'm not actually going to be using that today because we are only having coffee. Mm.
Well, we've found a quiet spot just off the town centre here in Uxbridge, away from all the music to sum up Costa. So what did you think of your flat white there, Paul? It seemed bigger than the one that I had at Cafe Nero. Which is probably just as well because it cost 25 pence more. And my cappuccino was 5 pence more. So it was 30p more expensive for the both of them at Costa than it was at Cafe Nero. And the other thing about Costa is, is that with their loyalty, you have to collect 10 stamps rather than 9 wow. to get a free coffee. And it used to be that they gave you points and you could use those points towards not only drinks, free drinks, but food as well. And then they changed it a while back. So the offer is not quite as good there, but they do offer you some uh, money off food and free items uh, on the app sometimes. So I would say that my cappuccino at Costa was a little bit too hot to start with. That's why I had to stick the spoon in it to try to cool it down. And it wasn't as strong. I think the Cafe Nero coffee was a bit stronger and I quite like that. I think for my flat white, it seems stronger, which is contradictory to what you are thinking. I don't know why, but it just seemed a lot stronger and it seemed a little creamier. Well, I wonder, do they put a different number of shots? And I'm sure it must be just be one shot. But then, Although having think, said that, mm -hmm, of the, course, there's the only one the size. Cup. There's only one size of a flat white. We didn't see them make either of the coffees per se. So we don't know how much espresso was put into either one of our drinks. Well, let's sum up. Cafe Nero or Costa? For you, Paul, which one won out, Ooh, do you think? which one? Uh, I would have to say Costa. I think it seemed a bit stronger for me. I think that it was a little bit more milkier and it seemed a lot more frothier, which is not what a flat white should be, but it did seem like there was more to it because there was, which is why the price was a, a bit more than Cafe Nero. So there's that. Um, I think that Cafe Nero is a place that I don't normally go to. Um, so it seemed like it was a decent amount, but it just seemed like Costa was more. Okay, to sum up, I would say that I preferred Costa coffee um, because it, I don't know, like it's something that I am more accustomed to. I'm not saying that Cafe Nero wasn't good. I'm just saying that it, it didn't seem as much or it like, Mm, what am I saying? Well, I think for me, it's a bit different. I actually preferred the Cafe know. Nero, co well, the, for the, the coffee any, anyway, um, because it was that little bit stronger. Um, we used to go to Costa a lot more than we do. I do seem to go to Cafe Nero now because it, there's one near my work and I get a tea there and they do a very nice breakfast tea. But the Costa here in Uxbridge, um, we did notice that they had uh, plugs where you could uh, charge your phone. And I'm sure Cafe Nero had that as well. We just didn't notice it. And of course, it varies from one branch to the other. So whether it is Cafe Nero or Costa for you, there is plenty of choice when it comes to coffee. And don't forget about those loyalty cards. Speaking of loyalty, why not subscribe to our YouTube channel? It's Paul and Marcus. Just hit the subscribe button below. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.